Many people struggle to recognize the young bark of black cherry, Prunus serotina. As this tree ages, its bark will spread apart and tear into the characteristic burnt potato chip, burnt cornflake texture. But at this age, it retains smooth, lenticellate, shiny bark. It has these horizontal lines or lenticels that are typical of other cherries and also birches. The nice thing about a black cherry that has bark this young is it will likely be short enough to have branches you can reach. So grab a branch, break it, and smell. A broken black cherry branch smells like bitter almonds. It smells very strong, and this smell can often be a way to identify it. You can break the branch, but you can also just scratch it. That smell is located in the inner bark. The leaves of black cherry are alternate, simple, and unlobed. They are elliptical and sometimes obovate, meaning they are rounded, occasionally top-heavy. They are often very narrow, but also can be wider. Leaf shape varies a lot. The margin or edge of the leaf is serrated, but the serrations are not very sharp. They are somewhat rounded. The leaves are shiny, lustrous green on top a feature that can often be spotted from a distance. But the most conspicuous thing about the leaves of black cherry is visible when you turn the leaf over. On that primary vein on the bottom half, on the underside of the leaf only, you will find a cinnamon-colored fuzz. This fuzz is present from spring to autumn. However, in spring it is clear, and in late summer it turns cinnamon-colored. This cinnamon-colored pubescence is incredibly distinct and makes it very easy to be sure you're looking at black cherry.